back. It's okay for the markets at this point in time. We are steady as she goes. 49.99 currently for the Nifty, and it was a similar trend in what we saw in yesterday's trade as well. It was steady and stable in terms of gains. There was not much volatility. So today it seems like it's a bit of a consolidation trend for our markets, but nonetheless it's on the upside. So up around 0.3 percent. A little help coming in from the Asian screen, which is doing pretty well in today's trade. A couple of gainers from the broader markets include something like Pyramid Life Sciences. So that one is locked in upper circuit. It's a 13 rupee stock, but uh, nonetheless is doing pretty well. And something like Wells Fund Projects too is up around 16 odd percent. But let's focus on a couple of uh, personal finance queries at this point in time. Hemant Rastogi of Wise Invest joins in to take us through a couple of uh, a couple of these queries. First is an SMS from Ravjeet Singh Lamba from Agra, where he wants to invest around 15,000 rupees per month for the next 15 years, and he wants to know how he should allocate it. Uh, Hemant, what would you recommend? Well, I think uh, the important thing here is that his time horizon. Uh, you know, he's going to invest for 15 years and that too, uh, I think, on a monthly basis. So I believe that the best strategy for someone who wants to accumulate uh, a corpus over a period of time through smaller contribution is to invest through a systematic investment plan in the mutual fund. And because the time horizon is 15 years, he can, he can look at, uh, you know, broad diversified equity funds. Uh, for for uh, a time horizon of let's say uh, 15 years, I think you should be focusing on uh, you know broad diversified diversified port uh, you know equity funds. Some of the fund that I think he already has in the portfolio, uh, uh, but I think I would rec recommend a few changes here. I think he has uh, Reliance Equity and Reliance Growth. My recommendation is that he should look at uh, Reliance Equity opportunity. And one more change is that in place of uh, you know Birla Growth Fund, you can look at ICICI. Uh, focus blue chip which is a large cap fund. I think they, these two changes will create the right balance in this portfolio and I think he should be able to achieve uh, a, a corpus of around, he's looking at I think building a corpus of around 80 lakhs. If I assume a return of around 12% over this period, I think uh, he should be able to achieve that. Okay, uh, the next is also an SMS, this time from Jaipur. Uh, Bharadwaj messages us. Um, he says he can invest about 15,000 a month um, and he wants to know how he, he could allocate it. Um, his current profile is that he uh, is a serviceman. Um, he uh, wants, he has a goal of about 4 crore rupees in 30 years um, and the current investments are in a couple of um, you know mutual funds, uh, SDFC Midcap Fund and the ICICI focused blue chip fund. So it looks like he is not very, um, he has some risk aversion and uh, also no, he has uh, insurance about 50 lakh rupees, uh, which is an HDFC term plan insurance. Um, what would you advise him, uh, Himant? Uh, do you think he should inve uh, invest further in equities uh, through perhaps an SIP, or uh, would you, uh, you know, recommend something more in the debt set? Well, I think here again, uh, you know, the time horizon is around 30 years, mm -hmm. and and again, the objective is to build a corpus over a period of time. I think again, a systematic investment plan in in equity fund will be the right strategy. Uh, when you invest for 30 years, you know, obviously you need to focus on an asset class which has the potential to beat inflation, which is where I think uh, equity definitely has a role. So my, my recommendation for him would be that even if he's a little uh, risk averse, that, you know, one can in take a call on investing in equity because you have 30-year time horizon. And the fact that you will be investing, uh, you know, systematically every month, uh, the volatility uh, over a longer period is automatically taken care of. I think his current investments are, there are two funds that he has, his HDFC Midcare Opportunity and ICICI Focus. Uh, you know, there's a slight change I think which is required in, 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 in the portfolio allocation here. ICICI Focus Blue Chip, as I just mentioned, is a quality large cap fund that can be continued. But I think 10,000 is being invested in HDFC Midcap Opportunity, which is, I think, a leader in its own category. But it's not always about investing in the top performing fund. It's all also about uh, looking at how, which funds are suitable for you and what kind of risk profile you have. In this case, almost uh, two third of the money is going into uh, a mid-cap fund, which is, uh, you know, which is not the right strategy for someone who's looking to uh, begin investing. Uh, yes, mid-cap fund has a potential to do well over a longer period, but it's also a fact that they tend to be more volatile compared to uh, well-diversified equity funds. So my recommendation is that he should make one change in this. He can continue to invest HGFC Midcare opportunity, maybe around 5,000 rupees, but uh, 5,000 should be invested in uh, a well-diversified multi-cap fund. And my two recommendations here would be either he can look at uh, Canada Equity Diversified Fund or SGFC Equity Fund. Now with this, he'll have three funds in the portfolio, one multi-cap, one mid-cap, and 
one pure large cap fund. I think that will create the right balance. And uh, if he continues to invest for 30 years, uh, assuming a return of around 12%, he should be able to build a corpus of around 4.57 crore. The key, of course, is that he should continue the process irrespective of the market condition. All right, Heyman. Thanks, thanks so much for coming in, uh, for giving us all that perspective. A little bit of cautiousness coming in with regards to broader market funds. Uh, do remember that if you do have any personal finance queries, you can send us an SMS. Type Y M followed by a space and your question, and send it to five one eight one eight. Or you can also email your queries to your money at network eighteen online dot com. All right, uh, so that is the personal finance segment. But coming up, we have a special for you from the sidelines of the City India Conference. Uh, Surendra Goel, person that doesn't join us uh, very frequently, the IT analyst of City, will be joining us after the show.